This is my Honda XR70 2003. I plasti dipped most of the plastic parts about 10 months ago. Actually, 10 months ago today, uh, January 12th, I put the video up. So it's been almost a year, and uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take off some of it today because you can see it's starting to peel up there, uh, the edges. Uh, a little bit there. This side looks pretty good. Oh, there's a little there. That's holding up pretty good there. But on the back fender, there's a nice part. And it's crazy. Like, if you kind of, you could rub this pretty good and kind of, and kind of like go pretty hard on it. And uh, it's pretty good. But I kind of just ran into like a twig or something, and it, it just peeled this. So, I'm going to peel that off, and uh, the front, and you can see on this side, it's coming off. This actually was from putting gas in the tank, some dripped down on here, and it ate it right away, and it kind of, like, just dissolved it, so, definitely don't put gasoline on it. <laughs> don't try to try your best not to drip any on there because it'll do that uh, when I did this I put like five five coats at least I maybe did six and uh, it's I mean it's held up pretty well I haven't driven it a lot and I haven't really rode through a lot of brush or anything like that so it's it, it's holding up pretty good but I, I kind of want to take it off so I'm just gonna see how well it peels off and uh Go back to the old red. I had a flashlight right here and I like zip tied it on so that's why it started to come off like that. It rubbed on it and uh, yeah I put a flashlight on because I wanted to drive it at night with the light. So let's see how this peels off. I think it's going to be uh, pretty easy. You can see if you kind of just roll it, it just kind of comes right off. This is the first time I ever removed Plasti Dip purposely, so. And, uh, yeah. And people on YouTube, like Fonzie, Dip Your Car, he's a big guy on here. He always says, get the edges really heavy because when you peel it, you're going to want to start from the edge sometime and you want to be able to get a nice thing on there. Now that this feels a little harder because there's some scratches in the plastic so that that's not really coming off as smooth as I'd like it to but if you put more if you put more uh, layers on it comes off heavier and easier. This is pretty thin feels like but it's coming off pretty nice cool and when I uh, wow that's <laughs> that's a big difference when I did this fender, I took it off. There's three bolts, so I'm not gonna be able to get it like perfectly off, but I'm gonna take it off uh, as good as I can. I didn't do the underside, so it just stops right on the edge. It would be smart to take off the fender again and do it, but just doing it fast. Thought I'd put up a video about it. That's coming off pretty nice though. After 10 months of sitting on here. You just kind of roll your finger. Uh, let me move this a little bit. You just kind of roll it with your thumb or whatever and it kind of
I might not even need to take that off with the, uh, with the the socket wrench. Just go around it, and you can see it's just a rubbery piece. It's pretty nice. Actually. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do the back side. All right, I'm gonna peel off the back part of the fender here. These two stickers I taped off when I did it, and before the last coat dried, I took the tape off, and it's a nice, uh, it came out pretty good. So let's, uh, let's do it. Yeah, there's a Honda sticker back here I forgot about, actually. Yeah, I could have put a few more coats on. It's a little thin. I got this dirt bike uh, at Andretti Power Sports in Dixon City or wherever the fuck it is up there on Route 6, Pennsylvania, back in 2003. I think it cost uh, $1,400, brand new. It's still treating me really well and it's holding up nice. I've always kept it garage kept and uh, try to maintain it as much as I could. And I also took this off when I painted it, so I'm not going to be able to get it all the way off inside, but for the most part. Yeah, like, because this goes under the seat a little bit, so it's going to be tough to get in there. Push it under there for now. Cool. I'm just going to keep the two fenders red and keep the rest black for now. I think it looks actually pretty cool like this. Real red and black action going on. Because this right here is red and these are white so I'll leave that black for the meantime. And this front is also white. I'll leave that black. Yeah. Alright, if you have any questions or anything, guys, let me know. Thanks for watching.